and I am uh, speaking to you from the campus of Yale University. The reason I'm doing that today is because it occurred to me, you actually might even hear some of the bells in the background. This is such a beautiful campus, and if you know my friend Ernesto, who did the video for my website, what you didn't see is after we did the video, I took him on a tour of downtown and Yale, and he was just so blown away. He lives in Southern California and doesn't get to see a lot of the things that I take for granted every day. So this street that I'm on is actually um, called Hill House, and I'm going to just turn very slowly so that you can see some of the buildings on it. Um, in back of me, uh, behind those trees is the Peabody Museum and what's called Science Hill. All of these buildings used to be privately owned mansions and now they are all owned by Yale. And one of the interesting things about this street, Hill House, is both uh, Mark Twain and uh, someone else famous, I can't remember, uh, called it the most beautiful street in America. Now granted that was probably a few centuries ago, but I think it still holds true. Each of these houses uh, has a totally different style too. And it's so interesting because they were all built around the same time. I'm trying to capture some of them. It's a little tricky because of the sunlight, but you'll see behind me, this is a really lovely Victorian. And there are a lot of gorgeous, beautifully maintained Victorian homes um, and independent buildings throughout Yale and New Haven. And you'll see over here, as we cross the street, a really unusual kind of uh, Romanesque one that uh, I haven't seen very much in this area. And then we'll move uh, next to it and see a Greek revival, of which there are a lot in the 1800s. Um, so one of the things I love about living in New Haven, certainly there are a lot of places that I could live uh, that are less expensive or more convenient, is this real attention to detail and aesthetics. Here's the Romanesque building. You can see these really rounded arches, which is different from what a lot of us think of as Yale architecture, which is Gothic, with the very pointy arches, and I'll tell you more about that later. Um, so again, if you've seen my video, you know that I really get inspired by what's around me, and so I make it a point to live in places where I'm constantly inspired and surround myself by colors and flowers and things that inspire me. So this architecture, the architecture and the history of New Haven inspire me every day. Sometimes when I'm walking around I like to pretend I'm on vacation. I'm in a totally different place and you can see it's not hard to pretend with this Greek revival with these lovely arches you know, I could pretend I'm in a different country. Let's move over here and see that a little bit better. Yeah. Um, so those are some of my thoughts about Hill House. I'm going to walk up and down a little bit more, show you some of the buildings. And especially this time of year, I find, and this time of day, the light is so beautiful. I'm going to try and make some more videos for you, especially my friends that live far away. and. Uh, haven't really had a chance to see some of the sites in New England or Yale. I mean, there are so many different buildings at Yale and so much history, it would probably take years, I think, to cover it all. If you ever do come to New Haven, what I suggest is sign yourself up for a Yale tour. It's free. I've done it at least three or four times. It's led by students, and every time I've learned new things, um, you know, about the buildings, about the history of Yale, and the history of New Haven. Here's another lovely... Yale building, you can see that lovely stonework, all of the plantings, the gardens, and today is just a perfect temperature too, so um, I'm going to enjoy walking around a little bit with you guys. You can see this building is now used for undergraduate admissions. Um, the only building on the street that is not owned by Yale is a church, so down at the end of the street is St. Mary's Church. We're gonna go into a real sunny spot here, so I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit. It doesn't get too bleached out. Actually, let's cross the street because it's so sunny. Come over here a little bit with me. Uh, some of these houses are occupied, so deans live in them. One of these houses George Bush lived in. Um, the Bush family lived here. 
uh, and actually several of the houses, but one of these houses as well. So at night you can definitely see people coming and going. Here's a nice little, this is actually kind of modest compared to the other houses on the street. And we are now walking towards downtown. So probably in my next video, either later today or tomorrow, I'm gonna to show you a little bit of the green. So the New Haven green is literally historically and kind of socially the center of New Haven, the center of town. And it's very easy to walk there from here. It's a beautiful walk. Oftentimes there's concerts. There'll be some later this season. Um, and the green, like in most New England towns, is where everybody raised, they, uh, you, they owned it communally. So you could raise your sheep there. You could have announcements there. Um, here's another. This is the very beginning of the street. And you can see across the street, I'm going to turn real slowly. Right behind me, let's see, where? there's a lovely brick building that we're going to come up on. So just in that short, the sun is hitting it, so let me get a little closer. Just in this one block span, you've probably seen with me about a dozen different kinds of architecture. It's different kinds of stone, brick, gothic, Greek, someone just, uh, some bikers just told me it's a nice street. I agree. Um, I have a question here. Do I ever paint plain air? Yes, I do. Um, so again, if you go to my website, you'll see um, some pictures of me doing some painting in my backyard. I really mostly do, when I'm painting, it's usually abstract. So um, it's kind of less important to me where I am when I'm painting. But if I'm drawing or sketching, definitely I want to often be outside and look directly at the things that I'm working on. Um, another thing that you'll notice a lot in New Haven is art. So I'm coming up here to an outdoor sculpture. Um, if I have time, I'll walk you over to an Alexander Calder sculpture. This one is not an Alexander Calder. This is a different one. It's kind of looking like a big coil. I'll get a little closer for you. But most people know what a mobile is, right? You know, you've got the little things that swing around. Sometimes they put them over a baby's crib. So here's a s sculpture that I just came across. Um, Alexander Calder actually invented mobiles, so he was the first person to think of it. Um, so that'll be another little trip that I'll take with you guys. We'll look at some of the different sculptures. So I'm going to come back to the middle of the street. And... Let me know if people have any other questions of specific things they'd like to see around the Yale campus. Uh, like I said, certainly there's no limit to how many different things you can see here. So the architecture, the gardens, the history, the museums, um, it's all just so inspiring. And before uh, my friend Ernesto came, I really realized how much I take it for granted. You know, he said to me something like, um, you know, why are some of the reasons you, you live here in New Haven? Do you think it's because it inspires you or makes you feel smarter or more creative? And I was like, yeah, I think I do. I, didn't, I hadn't really realized it. So I'm so glad that he gave me the idea to make videos like this and share this kind of information. It helps me to not take it for granted. And I think it helps inspire other people to see what New England is like, to see... Um, what these small towns are like and to learn a little bit about the history too. So again, hi. Oh, someone said just hi. Um, if you live nearby and you already know New Haven and you have some suggestions, let me know. And if you live far away and there's more um, that you want to see. So a couple weeks ago, I did a video at the beach. Um, that was really, really fun and refreshing. And especially now that the weather's warm, I'm going to try and do lots of videos because in the winter, uh, it's, you just, I don't know, I can't stay outside very long. I'm not very, very much of a cold weather person. So thanks for joining me. And uh, again, let me know if you have any other um, ideas or feedback of things you'd like to see more of. All right, good night.